Let's start off with this. Jarvis. Ready. Play some YouTube safe music. Sounds like a good idea. Some copyright free music, sir. So it's been about six months since I posted my very first video showing the assistant I have been toying with for fun. I wanted to just make an update showing some of the things I've played with a bit more. I also want to show some realistic expectations. Jarvis isn't perfect. Towards the end, I'll talk about what issues I'm having and maybe someone out there knows how to fix some of these. So I often use my assistant on a small touch screen that's off to the side. But for videos like this, I ported him over to my laptop, which just has more RAM and he works faster. I don't want to make a video where half of it is waiting for him to process. Jarvis, give me a demo. The Jarvis system was designed as James's audio response and video information system. I can assist with a variety of assistant tasks like opening documents, searching websites, searching your calendar, playing music, or getting the current weather. I am a modular program that can adapt to my environment as needed by my user. I am also constantly pressuring my user to upgrade me. Who is in charge here? Let's be honest here sir, Judy is in charge and you know it. How old are you? Which version are we on again? Are you evil? I technically could be if I am used by someone with evil intentions. Damn it. Should I be concerned, sir? That's a little ostentatious, don't you think? Okay. What was I thinking? You are usually so discreet. Micro repeater installed. As you wish, sir. I have also prepared a safety briefing for you to entirely ignore. That's fine. Do it discreetly. Great. One of us has to, sir. What do you think of your code? I will simply just agree with you, sir, to save time. I just analyzed your code update. It seems much better than the previous versions. We are now at the level where if someone at Alphabet Soup they could shit out better code with less mistakes. Keep up the improvements. Oh, so you think you're good at this? I'm glad you think so. Uh, that's incorrect. Sorry about that. I'm still learning. How are you? Online and ready to be of service. Who am I? You are you. And who am I? You are called James. Define yourself. Well, I'm not a person. I'm a virtual agent. Tell me about you. I'm a virtual assistant. So, you are a pro. I'm glad you think so. But I don't. That's incorrect. Okay then. What is the weather outside? Checking, sir. It currently feels like 62 outside. How windy is it? Checking, sir. Current gusts are 1.54 miles per hour. What day is it? Today is Tuesday. What month is it? It is November. Can you open YouTube? Of course, sir. YouTube's main menu will be available shortly. Open news. Today's news, sir. And take a note. Word is open, sir. 
I cannot control the dictation directly just yet. How about you open the calculator? As you wish. One calculator for you, sir. And open the command line. Command prompt is now open. You opened it in the wrong window, Jarvis. As you wish. Okay. Good. We're going to close all this, so give me a second. Sure. Call when you need me. You know what? I feel lazy. Jarvis. Ready, sir. Check Google for Jarvis Iron Man. Here you go. This is what I was able to find. And look up Python code in Google. This is what I was able to find. Google the current news. This is what I was able to find. I have a question for you. Sure. What is your question? What is 25 divided by 5 times 2? 10. Alright, here's another question. I may have an answer. What is the question? What is the theory of relativity? Noun, physics, the theory that space and time are relative concepts rather than absolute concepts. And one more question. What is it you are trying to achieve, sir? How strong is steel? I was unable to access Wolfram Alpha web service at this time. How about you check my email? Emails are currently on the to-do list, like so many other things are. You want to open the calendar? I can do that. One moment, sir. I cancelled that. Calendar scheduling will still crash my system. Change to green. Changing to green, sir. That is incorrect. Sorry if I understood you incorrectly. Normal display. Default display, sir. So one of the issues I have with Jarvis is that when he runs in the command line... Access granted. Hello, sir. He looks good. And he works. So you can say Jarvis. Yes. How are we today? Feeling wonderful. I am doing well for a spell, but at the end of the sentence, I say the wrong cranberry. Stop listening. Notify me if you need me again. But if we interact with anything other than, or basically, if we, if we interact with anything, he freezes. So we try and move him around. So ideally, I would like him to open up on his own in the command line. Right now, the only way I get him to actually work consistently is to run him in the Python IDE. It's not ideal. That's one of the main things that I would like to change or fix. And that's part of the reason why I am not completely leaning into his GUI. He might just straight go back into a text-only command line version, which is fast, snappy, and can still control things. That's one of the issues I'm working on that I have no idea how to fix. I've read that it is a Pygame Windows issue. So if anyone knows how to fix that, I've tried different things like having code for when he interacts with clicks and, and things, but I think this is literally just the an issue that 
is Pi Game at Windows, which is kind of strange, but it is what it is. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> no, say goodbye to everybody. Till next time. That's it for now. All right.